Hello everyone. So today I'm going to talk about hormones. Oh, hormones. Hormones and what it love, what it does when you are in love. Hormones and what it does when you are in love. What are hormones basically? They are chemicals that have difficult names given by scientists who actually found them. They didn't find them. They were already there. We just named them the difficult names because they knew difficult spellings that we don't know. Now, why did neuroscience did not take interest in hormones and love before this? God knows why. They know. We don't know. They the actual thing is science people don't fall in love. Like very rare science people like fall in love. So then let's talk about the hormones that go high. Now, I could really take difficult names like pituitary and lover, but I wouldn't because I know many of you don't understand what they mean and it's absolutely normal to not understand. I'm going to talk about a few hormones go that actually matter and make a lot of difference to a person's life. Now, have you ever realized that if you're in love, you can actually smell a person? Sounds gross. I know. It's not gross. It's beautiful. If you're in love, you'll be attracted to that person that's obvious, but you know when you're when you're in front of that person, there's a little smell that comes and then you just want to smell more of it and uh, you just want to be next to that person. And you know what? Only you can smell it. Maybe not only you. If the person's very hot, Trust me, so many girls or guys can smell him. Now, if you're in love and you can smell somebody, that is a hormone which is known as pheromone. You must have seen ants following each other. They are not tracking each other. They do not have GPS like us. They are following each other because of pheromones. Pheromones are hormones that are chemical messengers that release the smell that helps you follow each other. Now there is another pleasure that we have all we have all heard about love and pleasure. So are they different? Not very, though very. Now not very, though very. What do I mean by this? Love is when you are attracted to somebody. Not always. Love is when you understand somebody and later you are attracted to them because you are in love with them. Sounds a little confusing. You'll get it when you are in love. If you're in mature love, you're a, you're not only attracted to that person just because you're in love with them, but you're in love with them, so you're attracted to them. Well, if you're in the fluctuation love or the lust love, then you're just attracted to them. Anyway, dopamine. Dopamine is a pleasure hormone that is released when you feel happy. Now, it won't be a surprise when I tell you this, but drugs they also release the dopamine. So that have you have you heard the song by Pink? Drug is my love. I'm an addict. It's true. She scientifically ma- meant something. It wasn't just a song. She is a research scientist who secretly been singing in this world. So now let's talk about a very different kind of story which is never spoken of before. It's the word awe. What is awe? Or is a word that comes out of people's mouth randomly when they see a very handsome guy or a very beautiful woman walking by or if they just see a dog or a cat how do you define this expression of love for some it's madness for some it's um moderately justified i do not support it i am i'm no offense to you if you support it but this word is just a pissing off phrase that can really piss off some people but also release some dopamine for some so for today i'll leave it up to this if you want to know more about more hormones you can inbox me with the hormone names and i'll tell you more about